I'm on Instagram and uh, I'm seeing the scene from Soul Food, No More Fishing for Your Fish, where the man rolls his hand across the counter and buys what he needs to buy. Mm-hmm. I should have motherfucking copyrighted that. <laughs> <laughs> I should have copyrighted that. I should have copyrighted that, bro. Come on. That was my that was my idea. My God. You know what I mean? So to watch it turn into something that's actually a part of society right now, it's amazing. And it's like, damn, if I could do that just out of innocence, me thinking about what I want to do, I get there again. My God. You know, and that's this. That's giving, mm-hmm. that's giving worthy, yeah. man. That's me starting over as an artist and uh, me accepting myself as being more than just Goody Ma, more than just Gip. Now, you know, I'm a grown man speaking from a grown man perspective. So it's like, hey, man, maybe this it. You know what I mean? I'm supposed to ride this thing on out as an R&B singer and get on out your face. So that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, man. I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? I'm cool. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm good. And um, I'm I'm totally fine with that. And just to let y'all know, man, good tomorrow, man. The shows coming in. We already got show booked for 2024. Yeah. So, you know, I'm fine. So for all y'all fools out there that want, oh, he mad, he bitter, he fell off. Ain't nobody fell off, baby. I'm good. I'm Come tripping. On. I'm good. It's just that I don't accept what motherfuckers serve all the time. And I'm going to speak on it and speak against it. You know, like, you ain't going to, since I help. And one of the ones that fought this fight for the South, they never gonna get me to bow my head to nothing that ain't from the South. It's just if you wasn't in them shoes, if you wouldn't if you wasn't us, then you can't expect us to bow our head, man. You better go to them young folks and ass and show them all that, man. And coming to me, I'm gonna be like, boy, stop. Mm-hmm. Because we didn't rap about what y'all are rapping about, so we ain't even on your list. Come on. Real talk. For <laughs> both of y'all though, man, on a lighter note. Yay. LeBron just broke Kareem's record. Jay. Seen that. Jordan or LeBron? I mean, you know, I, I hate these comparisons, man. Hey, man. You like know, you, like you fuck around with Gip, I'm going to say Dominique. <laughs> I'm with you on Dominique. Now, don't go there with me. Uh, you go pull that video with Dominique against Dean, uh, uh, Jordan. Michael Jordan one on one. Hey, man, Southwest Atlanta were there. Woo! They were there. Win million and all. I ain't, uh, you know, one on one. Hey. I don't know. I say Dominique. Dominique was a yeah. bad boy. Go on. I mean, look, man. You know, they they two two different players. You know what I mean? Yeah. Two two different styles of play. You know what I mean? Like, I respect Jordan. I respect the Jordan brand. Mm-hmm. I respect LeBron James. You know what I mean? I think I think that it's just unfortunate for LeBron to get the scrutiny that he's gotten mm-hmm. for being great. Mm. You know what I mean? And not Definitely. to say that ain't nobody else ain't got no scrutiny either, but come on, dog. Like, yeah, yeah, he ain't did some shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> come on. Hell. Like, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Like, you know, even for myself, I done, I done been through a lot of scrutiny myself in my career to where, like, bro, they, they always try to hold down the great ones. Okay, mm. James, being with this guy right here, how does he help you be able to deal with that scrutiny? Because see, he obviously don't give a fuck. So <laughs> how the hell? I'm the same you see way. What I'm saying I don't give a fuck either. Like, like he know me. Like, you know, we see we we almost anti industry. Yeah. Hey, that makes you know what I mean because because we don't been through it and we been through the ringer and we understand the games that's being played. Yeah. And see with us, like, it's just all about controlling what we create and 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 not compromising the art of it and the meaning of it. You know what I mean? So, you know, with us, that's why it's so special with this project because it wasn't nobody else attached telling us what to do yeah. and telling us what we need to do and, and this, that, and the third. Like, we created something on our own that felt good to us, exactly. right? And we didn't go into it saying like, "Look, all right, we gotta make we gotta make a a, a club record. We gotta make a radio record that's gonna appeal to the masses and to the women." Blah blah. blah. I said, "Look, we gonna talk to the bees. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna talk to them, the baddies, 
the baddies. <laughs> we gonna talk to them, but in a in a clever way. That's right. Because really, like when you listen to the records, we we really talk about some personal shit mm-hmm. in them records. It's just the way we said it mm-hmm. in a in a clever way. Yeah, let's mm-hmm. put it that way. I feel that. And you know it. it you know, I think that's just what's needed right now, man. Like, it's just the authenticity of it. You know what I mean? That's the whole point of the project is just authenticity. 